y'all. So I want to my bra. I'm just gonna get ready today. Um, you guys are basically gonna get ready with me. I'm going out to the mall with my boyfriend as soon as he gets off of work. Right now it's 3:43, and he gets off at 5:30. So just gotta make sure that I finish my makeup before then so I can pick him up so I'm just gonna start off with primer as usual and I always use the baby skin primer because it's really good for hiding pores my face is clearing up exceptionally because as you can see like no, it's not the best, but it's getting there. So I can still see my pores. Usually that doesn't happen when I use that, but I don't know. So maybe this powder will work. Ooh, I actually did a little bit. It just kind of filled in my pores. Okay, so I just used some translucent powder. This is from Go Gendo. <laughs> did I say that good? Like, <laughs> it's an OG. Um, yeah, I have seen this a lot. Oh my gosh, not everybody wants to freaking text me now. Nobody knew who I was before. And now they all just want to text me. <laughs> Turn my shit on silence so nobody could bother me. And I'm gonna use this color. If you guys know of any brow powder that like you guys swear by, um, leave it down in the comments below because I am looking for a new powder. I don't want to try any more pencils. Not that I have a problem with it. It's just that... And I'm looking now because I'm looking in the mirror. So sorry. <laughs> I really wish that we could like vibe out together. So like I could play a little bit of music. Or you know watch Spongebob. Because that's what I was... That's what I wanted to do. And I was also thinking about going on live, but I'm like, you know what, my YouTube family comes first, and I just want to get another video out. Um, let me know what kind of videos y'all want to see, because I know I've been doing a lot of makeup videos, and if y'all want to see something else, just let me know. To set my eyebrows, I'm going to use the Milk Kush Fiber Eyebrow Gel. Oh no. Okay. I just myself up. Okay, I fixed it. Oh my gosh, that's why my name is The Fixer, guys. If you didn't know, then no, that's the reason why. I picked that as my name because like sometimes I just be messing up so much with my makeup sorry this shirt man this shirt this shirt need to get it together but yeah like there's so many times where I mess up like on my makeup or my hair or something and I'm like nope not going to like throw down all of the time that I spent doing this we're going to find a way to fix it and you see what just happened I fixed it and we're good to go so for foundation I'm gonna be using two today this is the pro filter in the color 410 and then this is the 24 hour liquid foundation from Maybelline in the color truffle 362 I'm gonna use a dual fiber brush to blend this out oh my gosh I forgot to put on my cream highlight before I put on my foundation I just peeped so I'm gonna use Fenty Beauty's matchstick in rum I literally I really wish she came out with this as a pressed highlight because this highlight is so freaking pretty especially for my skin tone just use my fingers and just lightly tap it in I'm going to highlight with the Kevin Aquan Concealer. This is in the shade Deep EC07. About something, if you feel like you can't do it, or 
that you're not good enough all you have to do is just pray and literally just tell yourself that you can and you will do it and that's something that I um, want to do more because that's actually the tactic that I used to build my confidence I would look inside I would look in the mirror like every day and tell myself that I'm beautiful and that I look beautiful you know so I feel like you can do that you can apply that to any situation like look in the mirror you know and say you are going to have this or you you are beautiful you know what I'm saying and when I tell you when I used to tell myself that I look beautiful in the mirror like I believed it and it really helped my confidence and you can always start there's like no like age it doesn't matter what age you are even if you're freaking like 50 years old and you think that you're still gonna look the same like forever no honey look in the mirror tell yourself you're beautiful and you'll eventually make yourself beautiful as crazy as it sounds try it out first so I'm going to set my under eyes with the Sacha Buttercup. Yellow set and powder is life. I'm looking so flawless, child. I'm going to use my Sephora setting powder. This is in the color Deep Mocha. I'm just going to set all the other areas of my face that I didn't touch. Get the forehead. So I'm going to use two products to contour. The first one is this Black Radiance Price. <laughs> I swear, every time I make videos, like, some, some new, like, every time I make videos, there's a new accent, like, bro, it's crazy, and I don't know where it comes from, it's so weird, but yeah, this is Black Radiance, and it's in the color Black Coffee, it's a new shade, every time I pick up a shade from Black Radiance, it's like, bro, you're still a little bit too light like it's noticeable but it's not as noticeable as I want it and you're probably like well Kai how much noticeable do you want your freaking bronzer to be and I'm like bitch I want to look like I lost 10 pounds no 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 I want to look like I lost 20 pounds no ma'am and then I'm taking this shade right here from my Sephora Spice Market palette. No, yes, yeah, Spice Market blush palette. And I'm just going to use that to kind of like warm it up a little bit more. Because it's like a blush, but I kind of use it as contour. My nose, my nose, my nose, my nose. <laughs> So like when I get those harsh like marks of demarcation, all I do is go back with my setting powder and then I like put it there. Just a little like I dab it and blend it so it's not harsh because nobody wants that. Ooh. And then while I'm doing that, because I got some excess on my brush carve out below my jawline and that alone gives you five extra pounds off I'm gonna go back into the spice market palette with that brown shade that I use to warm up my right here 
and I'm just gonna run that in the crease okay gonna move right into blush I'm gonna use my all-time favorite which is the Mac blush in raisin um, and then I'm also gonna be using Laura Geller's baked blush and brighten and tropic hues this is the shade it's really pretty it's more of like a shimmering glow like it's more like a blush to give you a glow more than pigment if you know more than anything like you know so what am I gonna do first I'm gonna do raisin first and I'm gonna bring it like to my nose because I like how that looks sometimes it looks really cute um, if you don't overdo it it's kind of not really a way to not overdo it sometimes because it's gonna be noticeable period point blank but yeah bring it up to your temples you can do whatever you want and it'll just still like look good okay and I'm gonna spray my face with the MAC Fix Plus highlighters together this I don't know what it is it doesn't have like no name nothing at all with my trusty gold deposit because y'all know I ain't gonna play myself with just putting this on like you're bugging <laughs> no so yeah I'm gonna just mix them together start with this one first I've never used it and it picked up a lot of product oh my gosh so I'm already like ooh. when I tell you I'll be picking the best things out of our raffles Who knows, this might be some Ofra or some. <laughs> oh man. Oh. Oh my gosh. You know, I was not expecting this. Oh my gosh. I really tried this highlighter. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, highlighter. I really tried you. So we're almost done with the makeup part. I'm going to line my eyes to get it ready for lashes. So I finally put on my lashes um i'm wearing the adele and the style 251 i believe and then let me also show you guys my signature new lipstick now first i go in with the tarte fortune cookie liquid lipstick i hate sometimes colors look so different like right now this looks like a rosy pink color but sometimes it looks like straight up brown it's so weird my next lingerie lip my next lingerie lipstick does the same thing and this is the violet Voss liquid lipstick in Slade it's my favorite so I put a lot of it instead of just like in the middle and it just makes the perfect nude lip like this is perfect and then I just put a little gloss the gloss also helps tone it down a bit do my edges because this is a get ready with me like this is actually a real get ready with me like I'm actually like doing my hair and showing you guys my outfit because I usually don't do that, I just do my makeup and then be like, alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, Eagle Styler Gel. This is the coconut bucket, but it's actually like the regular olive oil green kind. And I know it's not good for you, but I literally only put it on my edges, so relax. <laughs> So this is what I'm wearing. Um, this top is from Forever 21. It's super cute. Um, this is my bra. <laughs> it's not covering really well. 
but I'll fix it. And then I'm wearing these jeans. And I don't remember where I got them from, but they're really cute and they fit really nice. Um, what am I going to wear for shoes? For shoes... Does it make... Should I wear this? Most likely just gonna wear these. These are some Adidas. Um, they're the Alpha 3 ounce. Then I'm just wearing this cute ass bag that I got from Aldo. And that's basically it for the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Now I'm gonna go pick up my boyfriend. We're gonna go to the mall, do some shopping. Talk to you guys later.